All right, fishy folks, happy Thursday. It's feeding time in the fish room and I got a cool new shirt. Stay tuned. All right, fishy folks, dinner time in the fish room. I just finished my tacos upstairs and I figured if I ate delicious, I better feed my fish delicious too, right? So first, the Plecos, they're gonna get some catfish chips. Now, anything I show you, I'm gonna have a link in the description below, you know, the Amazon thing, go check it out, buy something, I make 13 cents, don't buy something, I make nothing. Check it out, whatever, right? Sarah catfish chips. Um, it has wood in it, and you know, Plecos need wood, in, most Plecos need wood in their diet. All the Plecos I have, especially the bristlenose, need wood in their diet they're always snacking on the wood this has wood on it these things are are pretty small i don't know can you can you catfish chips mmm delicious no i'm not gonna eat one um goes great with dip but uh you can see this ginormous tub i got I bought it at a local fish store. My local fish store started carrying it. I talked him into it. The Sarah guy came to visit him like every month. And I'm like, I know that guy. He's pretty cool. And so he bought some. But the other thing I'm going to feed some of these guys are these Sarah Onit tabs. Um, these are cool. You stick them to the glass and the fish pick at them. It's fun to watch. If you have kids, they love it. My little guy, Lucas, uh, will... I'll put one on a glass upstairs in the 55 gallon planted show tank. That's kind of a disaster. Um, and he'll, he'll sit in front of the tank for like 15 minutes watching and talking to them. You know, it's pretty funny. I should probably film it. Maybe I will. Um, but these things come in little packets too. There's eight in here. I'll probably feed all eight tonight to the different tanks. And then the last thing I'm going to feed, which is in this tub, um, this is New Life Spectrum flake now this isn't what i'm feeding but this is a pretty good flake food if you're looking for a good flake food check this flake food out um 49 percent protein and a little high in the ash 10 percent um but you know i think something is pretty good but what's in here is actually cobalt flake food now i got this ginormous tub i don't know if you can see the price 49.99 i got it at a local fish club auction and i paid 20 bucks for it and look how ginormous it is and when it's done you can use the bucket in the fish room dual purpose baby i love repurposing you know how i am but uh this has 45 percent protein doesn't tell you the ash but the first ingredient is salmon second ingredient is wheat flour which isn't the greatest but it'll do it will have to do because it was really cheap and I have a lot of fish tanks and I feed a lot because I want them to grow fast. So um, see the cool shirt, Danny's Aquariums, young Danny from the Netherlands. I think he's 16. He's like six foot eight. He's ginormous. No, he's like six foot, but he's a really nice kid. I call him a kid because I have a kid who's 15, so I can. I'm old, but he's a kid. Anyway, go check out Danny's channel. There will be a link somewhere in this general vicinity uh, to his channel uh, he does some pretty nice stuff he does a really nice job for a young man and think about this English is in his first language and he speaks it quite well now you all if you watch me you know I work with a bunch of Japanese folks who have varying degrees of English I speak a little Japanese I can usually get by they speak a little English we can usually get by Danny speaks almost perfect english it's fantastic go check danny out go buy one of his shirts on teespring i did because i support fellow fish fam youtubers all right i'm gonna feed standby okay i set up the tripod at the end of the fish room so you can watch me feed fast motion some funky music it'll be fun but um one thing that a lot of the really good breeders that i deal with uh papa rhino ryan anderson some of the other guys uh, when they feed or when they clean a tank, that's when they really observe their fish. They look at them, they check them, they can see if there is any problems, if there's any issues. And that's what I recommend you do as well. I recommend you 
Well, when you're feeding, you take a look. You see what they look like. You see if there's any issues. Are there any white spots? Are there any ones with sunken bellies? Do, do anyone have any fighting injuries? You know, all that stuff. Good to look at. All right, I'm going to feed now. Stand by. Feeding time. There is some cucumber left in some of these pleco tanks, so. But variety is the spice of keto life, spice of life, you know what I mean. Now, Sarah Onit tabs. Pretty fun. Let's take a look. Shall we take a look? Okay, stand by. All right, fishy folks. I know what question you're asking yourself right now, which you're dying, you're screaming at the, the video. Mike, how much do you feed your fish? Well, I definitely overfeed my fish, at least comparatively to what you should be doing, unless you have an auto water change system. But uh, I have an auto water change system. So if I overfeed, it doesn't really affect water quality unless I really, you know, screw that up. Um, that said, you know, also I want my fish's bellies to be all full and satisfied so they don't eat the tender delicious fry, right? Almost every tank, you know, I have here is for breeding, except for one, which is the, uh, tank behind me with Bruce in it. Bruce is just chilling. Let's say hi to Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Were you born to run, Bruce? Were you born in the USA? Are you growing up? All right, sorry. Bruce Springsteen song references. Uh, yeah, so I probably overfeed my fish, um, but a good rule of thumb is put a, a few flakes in there, and if the fish eat it all within 30 seconds, maybe a minute, you're good. Um, so these ONIP tabs, yeah, the fish go crazy for them. I don't know why they're ignoring it. Let me hopefully find one that's not making me look foolish. Oh, like this one. So see how the, the pieces are coming off and all the fish are devouring it? Yeah. These are little guys. These are the pink panda platies. Um, I sold a bunch of the adults and then I lost my one big female. I don't know what happened, but gone. So these are just grow outs waiting till they grow up. I'm going to take... Uh, a couple of females and a male and uh, put them in another tank and then sell these as grow outs as they grow speaking of selling i did uh ship my first fish of the year three boxes went out on tuesday yesterday it was 75 degrees here in february that's pretty nice so if you're interested check out the website michaelsfishroom.com place an order if there's something on the website that you don't see but you're interested in and you know i have like as an example these red Moscow guppies, they're not on the website because I only have a small amount. Um, you know, and you're interested, shoot me an email with an offer and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't, can't come, to a, uh, come to an agreement. All right, what else do we have? We got fry in the white platy tank. There's fry everywhere. Um, look at these guys, devouring, devout, devout eating this up like wild now this is the american koi guppy tank and they're supposed to kind of look like that but they really don't like they, they kind of have like more purple in them they're great looking fish but i can't call them american koi so so this tank we have it's doing dual duty right breeding for profit we have the plecos which are devouring a cucumber and eating some wood and we have these guppies eating this sarah onip tab I'm telling you, check it out. It's really fun. Oh, look at this snail. Yeah, focus. I said, look at the snail. And then, you know, it wasn't even in camera, in focus, in screen. You know what I mean. All right, what else we got? 
We got the Mutt Guppy tank. There are some really nice looking guppies in here. Looking forward to seeing all these. There's probably a hundred babies. I'm looking forward to see what they look like. But you can see them eating the eating the O nip tabs. And uh, these guys up here, the red blondes going to town, eating the O nip tabs. My purple uh, deltas have exploded with fry. Ooh, a rare big pleco sighting. He's not really big, but he's one of the original ones in the fish room. <sighs> so yeah, they love these O nip tabs. Those guys, you can see the pieces falling and they're going after them. This is the, um, what were these called? The Steel Nebula Guppies. There's one male in there. I took all the males out. Actually, I think I took all the males out. I had three males and three females. And I just had the females in there. Hopefully, they'll drop some fry. I also cleaned the glass this morning. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you could tell. I also cleaned this glass this morning. But I did a crappy job, it looks like. All right, guys. I think that's about it for feeding um these guys are eating the the sarah onip tabs yeah i like the sarah onip tabs i don't know how uh the nutritional value i forget at sarah so it can't be terrible um but it, it's fun you know i don't think it's an everyday food it's like a snack um that's how i what i look at it look at these guys all right so we have the sarah onip tabs look at them fighting over the sarah catfish chip right and then i fed the cobalt what was it cobalt aquatics tropical flakes pretty good stuff and if you if you want to try something else even i i really like this if i could buy this in bulk i probably will again new life spectrum optimum all-purpose flakes sometimes i also feed these um everyone feeds these algae wafers from akari but i like the the sarah catfish chips check it out guys all right, hope everyone has a great Thursday and Friday and Saturday or whatever day you watch this. Check out the website, shoot me an email. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, fishy folks, it's dinner time in the fish room and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm feeding today. First thing, I'm gonna feed the plecos are the Sarah catfish chips. They are awesome. They have wood in them and the catfish chips are fantastic and I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, fishy folks, it's feeding time in the fish room. I just finished my tacos cause I love me some good tacos. And uh, I'm gonna come down. I'm down here, I'm not gonna come down, I'm All right, fishy folks, I know the question that's on your mind. Mike, how much do you feed your fish? Well, I have a lot of tanks and a lot of fish, and I typically overfeed because I have an auto water change system. So all their bellies will be, hung will be full, not hungry. That would be silly. If I fed them and they were hungry, that's wrong. 